Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk men's basketball. And with us, Richard freshman Jalen McFadden. Jalen, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. Congratulations on the, the national championship this past year. Uh, a month or so removed from that championship game. Does it does it seem real yet? Uh, yeah, it do. Especially at the little celebration we have with our fans. Certainly a chance to celebrate with those fans uh, this past uh, Friday night at Wink Arena. A delayed week uh, with some of the weather, but uh, great opportunity for, for you guys really to, to get out and uh, see the fans and, and celebrate that championship with them. Yes, it was a very, very special moment. Talk about uh, that night and uh, obviously a chance to sign autographs. Uh, your hand hurt after about an hour or so of signing autographs? Yeah, um, it was a very, very, very special moment um, for them to relive what we had been through. A lot of fans couldn't make it out. We had a lot of support, but a lot of our fans couldn't make it out and make it to most of our home games. So to actually like relive that support and actually get to sign autographs for them and see kids smiling, parents smiling was a very special moment we'll never forget. Got a chance to be introduced. Uh, lights out, fog machines, the lights. Uh, we, we heard from President Eisler, Coach Bronkema. Just a, a lot went into that, and uh, certainly I know a great opportunity for you guys uh, to maybe celebrate it uh, one final time. Yeah, it was awesome. The first time was awesome, but the second time was up there as well. <laughs> Being home, it was really awesome. I know this whole weekend, uh, not only the celebration on Friday night, but you also had the team banquet on Sunday. Uh, really uh, kind of puts uh, maybe maybe some closure here on this championship season. Yeah, it, it does. Um, it made me realize how much how much it, it went fast, but how much they appreciate it. Um, realize what, what we losing, you know, um, who's coming in, the shoes that need to be filled. So we starting to like it's starting to hit for me as a seniors lead. Like it's time for me to step up. You mentioned some of those seniors that were honored uh, both Friday night and at the team banquet. Guys like Noah King, Drew Cushenberry. Uh, what's it been like to play with those guys and alongside them? It's been an honor. Um, I don't think nobody better than the senior class we had. Wise. Um, they taught me a lot on and off the court, and I've been looking up to them guys a lot as a role model, and I still do. And I know for sure if anything was to happen, I can call them though, any one of the seniors. I know, obviously, along with uh, the, the <coughs> celebration, uh, there was a special beard shaving that took place. Uh, Coach Bronca ra Broncoma raising money uh, for charity uh, in honor of one of your honorary team members, Mitchell Peterson. Uh, just talk about that great cause. Uh, Mitch is a very special player to us, and any one of the players would do anything for him um, as well. But that shows the character on Bronx. Like he's willing to shave his beard for a good cause. Um, he looked really different, as everybody could see. But he was willing to sacrifice his beard for Mitch. That's how important Mitch is to us. Obviously, uh, it was set at one thousand dollars. The original goal uh, far surpassed that. Uh, Noah King had to get his beard shaved, <laughs> and then finally reached ten thousand dollars. And uh, six of your teammates got their heads shaved as well. Yeah, like I said, our team was in it for Mitch, and we knew it was going to raise money. We didn't think it was going to raise that much, but a lot of us said if it was to get to that much, we had sacrificed something as well. As you look back uh, over the course of this whole year, uh, what were some of the, the highlights for you, uh, your first action on the court uh, here as a redshirt freshman? Um, beginning of the year, I didn't get that much playing time as, as most people, well, as I thought I was, you know, but that comes with sacrifice. A lot of the players sacrifice a lot of things. But going on, like I said, the seniors told me they was going to need me. Uh, we had a lot of, we had Deshaun coming from football. We had Greg coming off an injury. So it, it seems like we're going to need somebody to step up. And really, Noah and Kush like looked at me like we're going to need somebody to step up wise. So that game at Lake State, they beat us once. You know, um, our starters played good. They had somebody, some sick. But um, when we played them again, they looked at me like we're going to need somebody to step up. So I felt like then uh, they believed in me. So I started taking more shots, started being more aggressive. And I had a career game against them. Obviously, uh, you played more and more as the year went on. Uh, one of those guys that Coach Bronkman noted uh, couldn't really take off the floor because uh, yeah, they were able to produce some great results when you were out there. Yeah, um, <clears throat> playing along Cush and them, even in practice, I brung, I try to bring energy. Um, even when Cush and Noah brought energy, I tried to boost their energy up. So when I realized that helped the team a lot, I just kept with that and tried to get more people to follow me with energy-wise. And me and Deshaun got like on a little tag team type of thing with energy, and it boosted the team a lot. Obviously, uh, you came in your first year uh, redshirted. How much did that help you get ready to, to play this season? Uh, if you were to tell me at the beginning of the year, like the coach was telling me, um, redshirting last year would help you this year, I would be like, I don't see how that would help. Not playing would help you. But I got a lot of experience off the court, and that really matured me to another level. So I'm able to produce this year. Talk about that whole experience at the Elite Eight and what it was like to, to play those three games, all three games going down to the wire. And I certainly had to make some great plays to pull out all three wins. Yeah, it was crazy, um, especially for me. Never been been there on that type of playing field was even crazy. But to have the support as, as a team, we came together. Like, we here. Um, we might as well go all the way since we here. And after, like, that first game, it was like, okay, 
we here. We need to go all the way. Ain't no point of going home early. And then our seniors really be wanting it. So it like pushed us too. So it was real nice. I know I've seen the, the photos. Uh, you were one of the first guys off the bench maybe to celebrate uh, when that final shot hit it off the rim. Uh, just talk about that moment and, and what that felt like. Um, that's like a, it was more of a dream come true. Um, I don't think I want to play. I don't think nobody won the game that close. But since it being that close, I feel like that's the perfect game to have a championship off of. The game on the line, you have to make a shot. Keys make his free throws. They come, they come down for a chance to make a shot, and it, it, it bounces in and out, and y'all win. So that's a very special moment. And then right when it bounced in and out, I felt I knew exactly how all the scenes was feeling right then and there. So that like inspired me even more. Like they got what they wanted, type. How much did uh, playing at home uh, in that regional tournament, winning the regional championship at home, and obviously a great home season, th that support from the fans, how much uh, did that mean uh, going into the Elite Eight? Well, that mean a lot to know that we had a lot of support back home. Even that they wouldn't go make it up, that still mean a lot, that we knew a lot of people would be watching us from home, and we had their support. So that meant a lot. To have, even host it means a lot. No, obviously, uh, moving forward now, uh, as you look ahead to next year, uh, some key places to replace, but a lot of guys coming back that gained a ton of experience this season. Yes, um, we got a lot of a lot of shoes to fill. It's gonna be tough. Um, we got new new. It's a lot of records we came we broke this year that we're gonna try to go for next year. We got a lot of experience for us playing wise. So hopefully, it, hopefully it's gonna it's gonna be a good season this year. What goes into the the work uh, here in the off season now as you get ready uh, for the start of uh, practice uh, coming up in the fall? Um, maturing. We got we losing a lot. Like you said, a lot of our seniors are leaving, so a lot of people gonna have to step up. Uh, we're going to need more captains, more people that's going to speak out. But the good thing is we all know how it feels to win in the national championship. We all know what it takes. We all know it's going people are going to have to sacrifice stuff. And I feel like our team is ready for that again. Obviously, uh, you coming from Detroit, been here a couple years now. What What's it like uh, being a student athlete here at Ferris State? And, and just talk about how you've grown off the floor. Uh, it's, it's nice. It's more than I expected. I'm getting way more than I expected with this experience. I thought I was going to come here, um, do school, do basketball, get out the way. But no, I, I'm getting the family here, um, a lot of fan support. I'm getting, I'm looking like a second home here. So it's really turned into my first home because I don't go home much now. It's so. going to be kind of hard to top uh, what's been your redshirt freshman year, but uh, uh, three more years uh, ahead of you here as a Bulldog. Yes. Only thing I can do now is get a, a lo nine losing season. <laughs> Well, Jalen, uh, we thank you uh, for being with us here today. Congratulations again on the, the championship, and uh, have a great summer. Thank you. You too. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.